In Britain and around the world this week, sadness and outrage over the murder of Sarah Everard. The 33-year-old marketing executive disappeared March 3rd, walking home from a friend's house in London. Her body was found a week later, 57 miles away, a metropolitan police officer charged with her murder. The shock and anger amplified by scenes like this. Police arresting women at what started as a peaceful vigil for Sarah last weekend. Police said the protesters were breaking COVID lockdown laws. Online, the reaction was overwhelming. Stories of harassment. Women worldwide using the hashtags reclaim the streets and text me when you get home, sharing the lengths they go to every day to feel safe. Like this Colorado mom whose daughter texts her every night when she leaves work. I thought I was an overprotective mother. So I was surprised to see millions of women out there, their sisters and mothers and friends, asking other women to text them when they get home. Is safety always on your mind? Like what happens if someone attacks me? Even on my keys, on my keychain for my car, I have a mini mace. I have... Um, a stick that can hit into a window, little things that just in case something happens to me along that 30 minute drive, I'll have on me no matter what. A frustration for women everywhere that the burden has been placed on us to stay safe rather than compelling men to change their behavior. You have to always keep an eye on each other and like we often are portrayed as paranoid. When we call out or when we say like, oh, this is our realities, when really this is what we see and live every day. Evie Pomporas is a former Secret Service special agent. Gender-based violence has always been an issue. And I think it's teaching young men and boys that this is not how we behave. Uh, teaching women to stand up, speak up and fight. She follows three basic rules. People, stick to busy streets. Darkness, stay away from poorly lit places and distance. Don't take long walks at night. A sad reality in a world that too often isn't safe for our mothers, sisters, and daughters. But not all of us have the same experience. Take a look at the numbers from this Gallup poll. It found that 77% of white women feel safe when walking alone at night in their community, compared to 67% for Hispanic women, 63% of Asian women, and 51% of black women. But Kristen and Peter, one thing is clear, all women, I think right now, and I know I'm included in this, are thinking twice about what it's like, what you're doing, who's around you when you're walking alone at night, guys. Kelly Kobiella in London. Kelly, thank you. What an important story. And I think Kelly hits the nose on the head, which is that this resonates with women everywhere. That's a conversation I have with my mom almost every day when she texts to make sure that I get home safely. Yeah, no doubt. And as a husband, as a brother, mm -hmm. as a dad, it's something that you're constantly thinking about those people you love. You try to be with them as often as you can, but you can't at all times. People, darkness, distance. That's good advice for all folks. Yeah, great advice. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.